Hello, Nikki from Motor For You. Today we have a Range Rover Evoque. This is a standard finished in Santorini black metallic. This car comes with one owner from you. On this car, we have part distance to the front. You can see the sensors just starting to come around the front bumper there. If we then come around to the side, you can see that we get 17 inch alloy wheels on this car. We then start to make our way around the rest of the car. As we come round to the back, you can see just coming across the rear bumper here, we have rear park distance. And if we then open up the boot, Once inside the car, you can see that we get electric windows all round with your window lock and child lock button just below. We also have electric mirrors as well as the locking system just there. On this car, we do get a multifunctional steering wheel on the left hand side. We have your volume as well as your changing of stations or tracks. We also have your telephone, favourites button and voice control. This menu button, as you saw, turns into an OK button, which correlates to the screen just there. And this turns into a keypad. On the right hand side of the steering wheel is the cruise control. We do have the option of a limiter as well as lane keep assist. And you can tell when it's on when it is illuminated in orange, as you can see. We then have automatic wipers and automatic lights on this car. If we look to the centre console, we have an armrest, which we can pop open each side individually we have two usb ports as well as a micro sim and a 12 volt socket we then have two cup holders which is where i currently have the key as this car has got keyless start we then have dual climate control within this car with the option of ac just at the top there to change the fan speed we press this button here and this dial will then turn into the fan speed and then to change the different terrain selector we press this button here and as you can see we can then choose there or we can choose to put it into automatic if we then look to the main screen on this car we do get a reversing camera with guidelines as well so it'll give you a rough idea as to where the car will go we also get a visual representation just here of the front and rear park distance we then go to the home page we have the phone app which becomes fully functional when you do have a phone connected to the car you'll then be able to make and receive calls through the car as well as access other apps such as the contacts app we then have the media app where here we have the different bands of DAB, FM and AM. We also have the option of Bluetooth audio, but this will only show up when you have a phone already connected. On the next page, we have your eco data. This will give you a rating up to five, five being the best rating that you can get. We then also have the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You can access these when you are connected to the USB ports underneath the armrest. We then also have your voice control, which you can see here, we get tutorials, commands, and voice tags. We then also have on the next page, your four by four eye, where on this car we get, oh, press the wrong button. If we press, I understand, we then get the off-road information where we can see here the wheel information. And then we also have your slope information and then your terrain response information. We then also have low traction launch, as we can see just here. If we then have a look at the seats. Here we have the driver's side seat. We can then come round to the back. We get three seats in the back. They've got ice fix just running across the bottom there. We also have a 12 volt socket just down there, as you can see for the rear passengers. If you have any questions or queries on this car, please feel free to contact us at motor for you Alternatively, you can give us a call on 01580 879 666.